Okay, let's see what another bubble leaves us, right? So here I am referring to a formal aspect, right? So the writer here uh, is using this rhetorical maneuver on the one hand, on the other hand, right? And so this is the, you know, this is good. This is the type of a rhetorical discursive, uh, you know, uh, language that you want to uh, learn how to use, right? So when you use on the one hand, on the other hand, or, or phrases like that, it allows you to juxtapose and juggle competing contradictory ideas, which is also known as life, <laughs> uh, which is also known as reading uh, a text, okay? So any text is uh, not presenting uh, just one idea, but many ideas and often very contradictory ideas. So how do we deal with that? That's a nice sort of formal move there, okay? Uh, let's see what else we got here. In terms of another balloon, another thought bubble here. Let's see what this says here. Uh, so this writer here, right, is spent a lot of time on a formal critique of the actual syllabus poster, right? So this is good, right? Most of the discussion boards were more about content, right? And that's fine. Uh, that's what, you know, you know, one of the things we're here to do. But uh, again, I th I've said this before, that attacking or analyzing the formal aspects, how something is written, how something is conceived, is... Is, is, an, is, is important analysis, right? And the text is, the medium is the message, right? So it's not just about content, it's not just about the ideas, right? But it's how it's presented, right? And so analysis on the formal level can be very, very effective and very, very useful. And so, you know, the, uh, the writer here uh, is analyzing the syllabus posters, how they were constructed, how they work, right? really outside of content. And that's, that's good stuff. That's good stuff. That's what we want to say. Okay. Um, and are there any other bubbles here to finish up with? Uh, let quickly here so we can move on to something else. No, that's it. So again, I will, um, you know, when we get into Plato and we get into actually working with, uh, you know, real text, uh, you'll see more of these bubbles, right? And so these bubbles are all meant to sort of how do we get a better discussion, uh, either uh, in terms of content, uh, ideas, you know, background information that I can give, or also in terms of communicative expression, okay? How to say these things. So uh, that's what I'm trying to do within this reading.